When you think about the extremely early game, what weapons do you think of using? Typically some basic sword like an iron broadsword, or bows like a tungsten bow, or perhaps spears and grenades come to mind. Despite being very weak and very basic, they provide adequate resistance that is essential in defending yourself in the beginning of the game. Crucially, they are all extremely easy to obtain, meaning any player can rely on these items to be readily available if they ever need them. While many early game weapons fit the description, there are definitely some outliers, and this is one. This is the Chain Knife, the weakest launched flail in the game. Essentially, it's a spear hook that comes out of velocity, then returns upon hitting its first target. With a base damage of 12 and a weak knockback stat, the damage this weapon can deal is puny at best. It also only extends 11 blocks ahead of the player, a very short distance, meaning that it only has range somewhere between that of a bow and a sword. Like all launched flails, damage per second also varies depending on distance, as the flail can return with quicker speed at close distances. At the closest distance possible, the flail can achieve as much as 70 damage per second, while the farthest distances drop out and a cap at the, about the high 20s. This puts it at or above the same damage level as their earliest game gear, like basic ore bows and swords, stuff that a player could easily obtain on their first day in Terraria. But what's special about this weapon is despite having these first day stats like I said previously, it absolutely does not have first day obtainability. This weapon was blessed with a 0.4% drop chance from cave bats. Oh boy. This weapon is out damaged by grenades at close range, a literal tungsten bow and wooden arrows at anything past medium range, because remember this weapon literally can't actually reach past anything in medium range, and at the same time it can't pierce nor deal AoE damage. And yet, despite all of these shortcomings, it's a 0.4% drop from a cavern layer enemy. When a typical player goes down to the cavern layer, not only do they likely already have some forms of arguably superior armament, like grenades and basic ore bows, they'll also be able to find stuff that quickly outclasses this weapon anyway. In the cavern layer, and the underground layer too, underground houses each have a 13.5% chance to contain the mace, a weapon superior in just about every respect to the chain knife, not to mention that you can also upgrade it to the flaming mace. Ore is also dotted around the cavern layer, meaning more powerful gold and platinum bows can be crafted, which further outdamage the chain knife. So, in this area dotted with treasures and weapons far superior to our glorified pocket knife, how rare is the chain knife really? If we managed to kill a whole 20 cave bats in the short cave expedition, we would have a solid 7.7% .7 chance of getting the chain knife. 7%! And no, you can't easily statue your way around this either. Even if you were to go through the inconvenience of wiring a bat statue to a natural trap, statue drop chances are reduced by a factor of 5, meaning that the drop chance will go from a horrid 1 in 250 to an abominable 1 in 1250. Less than 0.1%, and all for a shitty butter knife on a string. Eh. The question becomes then, why would anyone ever go for this weapon? It's outclassed easily by weapons you can obtain on the first day, and yet it still has the audacity to bear a 0.4% drop chance from enemies found in the bottom half of the world. All that farming and luck, just for this. The only plausible use I could think for it is in the Brain of Cthulhu fight, where it has barely, and I mean barely, enough knockback to stunlock your brain in its second phase, kind of like a budget terror group. However, if you're playing on any difficulty above normal, you'll note that it's so painfully slow that you probably shouldn't bother, especially when one slip up means imminent death. So then, why is it so rare and why hasn't it been changed then? It's likely something to do with the fact that it hasn't been changed much since its introduction in 1.2. Perhaps the power creep just caught up with it as early game weapons became stronger. Who knows. But what I can say for certain is that in modern Terraria, the rarity and stats of this weapon both combine to make one of the worst value propositions in any weapon within all of Terraria. And that's the end. Hello, if you haven't subscribed and enjoy my content, I ask you to subscribe, as only 18% of you are. Here are some other similar videos I've made that you might enjoy. Either way though, thank you for watching, and good day and goodbye.